Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Well, today I want to talk about a few things. I've got some footage to show you guys, and I also want to talk about this, um, well, the fact that it seems like we've been discovering a lot of planets uh, in our own solar system recently. Now, I'm not one to stir a panic or anything like that. I I'm not necessarily a believer in Nibiru or that there is some massive planet coming to crash into Earth or to fly by us. But nonetheless, there there's some interesting new findings that have been coming out lately that we're going to talk about in just a minute. But first, I want to show you this footage that was captured and emailed to me of something very strange uh, over the south coast of the United Kingdom. And the source said that he spotted this object moving southeast. Um, he got his Sony HDR camera and began recording, and he lost the object after about three or four minutes, as you'll see. So watch the video, and then we'll come back and talk about it a little bit more. 15th of May. We've got an object, unknown object. Time is around about half past five, six o'clock in the evening. South coast, UK. Unknown object. Appears to be transforming or rotating. I'll hold the camera steady. I'm not on a tripod, so I apologize about that. some sort of reference to where it is. Just about to lose it now. So as you just saw, you know, this thing looks, it's definitely not your run-of-the-mill UFO shape. I mean, this thing looks very odd. It does not look like any sort of aircraft. It does not look like any sort of weather balloon or, or balloon in general to me. I mean, it, it has these things that look to be almost hanging from the bottom of it. And the source who recorded it, I mean, he had no idea what it was, which is the main reason he sent it over to me. Um, the source who actually sent it runs his own uh, small and upcoming UFO channel called UFO Star 7. So be sure to check out his channel on YouTube. I am always happy uh, to see other people starting their own channels and continuing this research the same way we have. We all start out as small channels, and all it takes is someone with a little bit of curiosity uh, to, to really have the opportunity to open the eyes of uh, potentially millions of people as we have here on this channel. So again, basically the source, 28-year-old um, guy, been sky watching his whole life, and yeah, I cut this amazing footage. So if any of you guys over south, over the south coast of England who may have seen this or know what it is, definitely email me, and we'll post updates to it. Or at least I'll post an update in the comments section. Usually if I get something like a small update, I'll just make a post in the top of the comments if it's usually not enough to make a new video on. But nonetheless, some very cool footage. Now, on to these rogue planets that have been detected in our solar system. Well, it, it turns out that we found another one. This time, a giant dwarf planet about the size of Pluto has been found hiding in our solar system. And the planet is called 2007 OR10, which is actually just slightly smaller than the size of Pluto. And it is close within our very own solar system. But it did take astronomers by surprise. So, the guys over at the Conkley Observatory uh, revealed in the Astronomical Journal that they had uncovered new details about the planet, which show it to be, actually, the third largest dwarf planet ever seen in our solar system. And if you remember, NASA came out with that big announcement the other day that they had unearthed a stash of more than 1,200 new exoplanets, bringing the total amount of planets we've found to over 3,000. So basically, researchers have known about this planet since 2007. 
but they completely underestimated just how large this planet was and is. And the reason it wasn't determined how big this thing was uh, up until recently is because of basically how dark this planet's surface is and because it has a very strange orbit. And the surface of the planet is dark red, which is possibly due to a covering of methane ice, which is changing from day to day. But again, it has a very long, slow rotation with an elliptical orbit. And Kepler was only able to catch a brief glimpse of it in 2014. So basically, there's a lot of planets out there lurking in our solar system, many with an elliptical orbit. So a lot of these planets come into the center of our solar system and pass back out, or at least near the center of our solar system, that we may not even know about. So although I don't believe in any of this Nibiru nonsense, and that there's some massive alien planet heading toward Earth, I mean, this whole Planet X thing, this was supposed to happen in 2012, if you remember. And when it didn't happen in 2012, it was supposed to happen again in 2013, 2015, and now it seems like this entire Planet X topic is being pushed once again back into the spotlight. I, I'm seeing a lot more YouTube videos dedicated to the topic, while well, that and Flat Earth, uh, unfortunately, but yeah. Those are the two main topics I'm seeing a lot of videos on lately. Planet, uh, the planet being flat and Planet X. Now, I guarantee you that if there was a large planet anywhere near the inner solar system, I guarantee you our astronomers would be seeing changes and we would be feeling the changes right here on Earth because we would, we would be seeing other planets being disturbed, such as Mars, Saturn, uh, Pluto, for instance, uh, basically every planet that's along the way to Earth. And we would be seeing these effects. So any of you out there who buy into this, uh, you know, story that there's some planet heading toward Earth and that the poles are going to flip and that, you know, we're going to be wiped out, stick here with this channel and I guarantee you I'll give you the proof and I won't sensationalize it and scare you half to death. But nonetheless, there are rogue planets in our solar system. So there's no debate about that. But as of right now, I don't see a threat, at least yet, but these planets are in the outer reaches of our solar system, but nonetheless, it's a very interesting find. And on another note, talking about these uh, discoveries, if you guys remember, we were talking about this possible alien uh, megastructure that is possibly surrounding a star, and it's basically blocking out 20% of the light of this star that we found out there. And the star is called KIC 8462852. So basically, we've talked about the fact that this could be something, uh, something along the lines of a Dyson sphere. And the Dyson sphere, once again, would be a massive alien-built structure, like, uh, like solar panels. Basically, thousands and millions of solar panels wrapping around a star to harness its energy. So basically, scientists have found out that this star is being obstructed by something, and they don't know what it is. And it's obstructing up to 20% of the star's light. Now that is massive, because even a passing planet as big as, say, Jupiter or Saturn would only block about 1% of the star's light. And we're talking 20% is being blocked here. So scientists then said, well, maybe it could be a large group of comets that's blocking the star. But they ruled that out. Because basically, scientists figured that there was no way it was possible that there could be... And they would said you would have to need about 600, almost 700,000 giant comets existing around this one star which would all have to have their orbits orchestrated so that they all pass in front of the star uh, within the last century. And that just doesn't seem kosher, and it doesn't, it's just, it's been ruled out. So they still have no idea what, what is surrounding this star, Tabby's star, it's called. So they've basically found out that, that something, something has been blocking up to 20% of this star's light, and it's been doing it for over a century now, on and off. It's not constant. So it's almost as if something is being built around the star by the way that it's been dimming uh, more and more over the past century. So, you know, I'm definitely going to continue making videos and post any updates on that. But, you know, it's just another case of, of another mystery and one of the many mysteries happening 
um, within our universe and within our solar system and outside of our solar system. And it's just, there's a lot of interesting things happening this year. So we will keep you guys all updated. Um, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to stick around. We've got a lot more videos for you guys to see, many more interesting topics to talk about. And big thanks again to the UFO Star channel for sending us this footage. Let me know what you guys think of that. And uh, yeah, stick around and we'll see you back soon. Stay safe, guys.